Ramon, uh, malakanyang press corps, magandang uh, hapon, Chief Presidential Legal Counsel and Spokesman Attorney Salvador Panelo. Good afternoon, MPC. I have a statement to make. The United States 2020 budget contains a provision which authorizes the U.S. Secretary of State to ban government officials in the Philippines from entering their territory about whom he has, quote, credible information have been involved in the wrongful imprisonment of Senator Laila de Lima, unquote. While some media outlets have been twisting this information in their headlines as an outright ban against Philippine officials involved in the case of Senator de Lima from traveling to the U.S., we have explained repeatedly that the subject provision is ineffective given that the Philippine, Filipino senator is not wrongfully detained and therefore the impossibility of the U.S. Secretary of State to receive credible information with regard thereto. Should a ban from entry into U.S. territory be enforced against Philippine officials involved in or by reason of Senator de Lima's lawful imprisonment, this government will require all Americans intending to come to the Philippines to apply and secure a visa before they can enter Philippine territory. Meanwhile, the Philippines is immediately ordering the Bureau of Immig Immigration to deny U.S. Senators Dick Darbin and Patrick Liet Lietchi, the imperious, uninformed, and gullible American legislators who introduced the subject provision in the 2020 budget entry to the Philippines. The case of Senator de Lima is not one of persecution, as we repeatedly said, it's one of prosecution. In fact, it is already being tried by our courts. And no less than the highest court of the land, the Supreme Court, has ruled on the validity of her detention as being lawful and valid. No other state can dictate upon our officials judges and justices, the matter upon which we enforce and interpret our own laws vis-a-vis -vis those who are believed to have committed a violation against our laws. We reiterate that the Philippines and we address this specifically to the senator's name, as well as those who approve that provision, that we, the Philippines, is an independent and sovereign state, and it stands in parity with all other states, including the United States, and any form of pressure that is deemed or tantamount to an interference into our established justice system or other processes shall be reciprocated in accordance with our municipal law as well as public international law or the law of nations. In other words, we will not sit idly if they continue to interfere with our processes as a sovereign state. Question MPC. Uh, Henry. Uh, secretary, clarification lang. Kasi dito sa, uh, nakalagay dito sa U.S. Embassy website, U.S. citizens planning to enter and visit the Philippines for 30 days or less do not need a visa prior to travel to the Philippines. Provider, uh, provided their U.S. passport is valid and they, until they have a valid return ticket. Um, anong ibig sabihin nun ito? Lahat lang, hindi lang ho yung tourist visa? Uh, yung tourist uh, U.S. citizen na pupunta rito? 
Lahat. Lahat na. Kung i-enforce nila, yun ang kulatila doon. If they will enforce this provision in the U.S. budget, then we will be compelled to require all Americans entering into this country to secure a visa before they can Regardless be of their purposes. Entry. Hmm? Regardless of their purposes, Secretary. Regardless. Okay. Thank you, uh, Henry. Julie, pagkatapos si Joseph. Sir, was this the decision of President Duterte to impose... Uh, yes. Okay. When did he communicate this um, desire? To me. When, Last sir? night. Last he asked me to issue this statement. Can you say, can you tell us, sir, how he shared with you yung decision niya to impose yeah, this? Yeah, um, um, exactly what he said. Sir, will this affect, halimbawa, um, many Filipinos are also U.S. citizens na rin. Will, will, will this ban also affect? Uh, will this all Americans, eh, if, you, okay. if you are a U.S. citizen, then you are an American. Okay, sir. Tapos, sir, um, can you describe to us yung um, sentiment ni President Duterte? Was he angry na ganito yung naging kahinatnan? Kasi it, it has been a few days since... You don't have to be angry happened. to issue that statement okay. when your <clears throat> sovereignty is being assailed. If you're the head of a state, that is the natural course of action that one takes. Joseph. Okay, na, uh, Joseph. Ina. Okay, na tayo doon sa issue. Uh, Pia. Sir, did the president take into account the possible repercussions or uh, negative effects that it will have to uh, Philippine tourism, for example, and the Philippine economy? When the president makes a decision, all circumstances are factored in. All right, sir, thank you. Thank you, uh, Pia. Follow-up, any more follow-up regarding the issue? No more? Ina. Sir, is there any effort by the um, perhaps Department of Foreign Affairs to communicate with uh, their with U.S. officials about the president's sentiments about that law? I have not talked with the Secretary of Foreign Affairs. Okay, so the president didn't mention anything about no. communicating with U.S. officials about it. Thank you, sir. Salamat, uh, Ina. Other topic? MPC. No more. Julie. Sir, balikan ko lang yung kay Trump, yung invitation ni President Duterte kay Trump. So, did, did the President change his mind after what he said to you about, yesterday? About visiting the U.S. Kasi di ba invite ni Trump? He said he never intended to visit the U.S. naman, ever since. Okay. After, he said this last night. Well, after nang inutos. Repeatedly, sa inyo. many okay. times, every time nakawasap ko yun, naman ang sinasabi niya. No, From the very beginning, di ba? during the campaign, he said that. But did he say, sir, if this latest development concerning the U.S. budget provision made a dent on his whatever his desire is? If I remember to, correctly, he said he would respond to the letter invitation and, and decline it. Mm -hmm. And decline. Yeah. Decline it formally, sir. Will decline. He will decline it formally, na, sir. Yung. Now, sir, did he also mention, because since it was President, U.S. President Trump who signed the budget, law. So, does the president think less of President Trump now? Kasi no, kasi una-una, I have already repeatedly said, it's not naman self-executory. The law itself says, if there is credible information <coughs> received by the one who will decide, and the one who will decide will be the Secretary of State. And that is why even the ambassador, as I related to you when we had an encounter in one party the other night. He said, hey, it's Congress. Naman. So it's safe to say, sir, that President Duterte does not hold it against U.S. President Trump if no. he signed a budget law containing that no. provision, even if it's conditional? No. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you, uh, Julie. MPC. 
Any other topic? No more? Wala na. Maraming salamat, MPC. Maraming salamat, Chief Presidential Legal Counsel and Spokesperson, Attorney Sal Parelo. Thank you. Balik tayo sa PTV4, Radio Pilipinas.